Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, this video is pretty much gonna be a redux or redo of the original best pickaxe in Terraria video with a little bit more pickaxes from a bunch of other mods. And uh, you know, I try my best to gather ones that I can find easily, but you know, there's always hidden gems in a bunch of Terraria mods, you know? A Terraria mod can be named Lick My Booty Hole and the strongest pickaxe ever would be in that mod. And I would never know because of the name of the mod. But yeah, we got our group of vanilla pickaxes pickaxes here and we got our group of modded pickaxes here and uh you know we're just gonna pretty much redo the video with a little bit more clarification we're gonna answer a lot of questions people had or a lot of comments that people kept on leaving and uh, let's hop straight into it but first you no know, i feel like changing the fit for today so let's change our outfit all right we're a little bit more squarer than usual but uh you know what they say be there or be square that's the motto to live by and uh i thought i was there but apparently i turned into a square but yeah let's do it let's start with our vanilla pickaxes here you know one comment I got a lot of in the original pickaxe video was game raiders you forgot the copper pickaxe you know in a video where I talk about some of the best pickaxes in Terraria you would think that there wouldn't be hundreds of comments telling me that I forgot the copper pickaxe which is the worst pickaxe in Terraria but if the video was named worst pickaxe of Terraria you know this one would probably take the title but yeah here we got the copper pickaxe we got the bone pickaxe we got deathbringer reaver shark mithril pickaxe axe true my digging claws pick saw in the four lunar pillars which believe it or not addressing another comment comment that i saw a lot of all four of the lunar pickaxes are exactly the same power there's no difference between any of these besides just the name and the looks so everyone who was like how come you didn't do the solar flare pickaxe the solar flare pickaxe is the best is y'all need to get your knowledge up before you start commenting let's hop into it we're gonna start with of course the copper one and uh you know we'll go through let's go through all the uh pre-hard mode ones first and we're gonna see how far the pickaxes dig into this we got gold we got meteor we got obsidian palladium or calcum titanium chlorophyte i believe this is chaotic ore i don't remember what that is eula bloom and then arc tesla or arc or orc something like that <laughs> yeah let's get to it and uh you know a copper pickaxe i don't think we're gonna get that far at all with the copper pickaxe but i guess we'll see i guess we'll see now the ores that i have picked here they are based on you know certain powers you need to mine them that's where the copper one stops is the meteor so as we can see the copper pickaxe is probably one of the worst ones unless you have mods there's probably mods that add in even worse ones on to the bone pickaxe though the bone pickaxe i believe is a 50 percent mining power pickaxe so it should be able to get rid of meteorite i don't know about obsidian though yeah obsidian requires a little bit more power but at least it got further than the copper one if you get a drop this rare like the bone pickaxe and you can't mine past what copper can mine what's the point next up the deathbringer pickaxe which i think this pickaxe has a 90 percent pickaxe power i could just check 70 so yeah okay it has 70 and then i don't know if there even is a pickaxe with 90 percent because i think the reaver and the molten one are both 100 but this one should easily get all the way to obsidian obviously he's not gonna mine palladium that's for the molten and the reaver shark but you never know maybe one day you're just mining and boom you break palladium with a death ringer pickaxe for some reason and last but not least for our vanilla pre-hard mode pickaxes the reaver shark which has the same power as the molten one and uh you know the reef shark is probably my favorite looking pickaxes it's just such a unique concept and idea i kind of wish that uh relogic did more like fish type weapons and stuff like that those are really cool but yeah as we can see it got past palladium as expected you know you use this pickaxe to get palladium then use palladium to get everything else or you could just go fishing fishing is a very cool alternative in terraria hopefully in 1.4 you can use golfing to progress and get the ores i don't know how it would work maybe you win like a pga tour and then you're rewarded Ward is hard mode ores i don't know we'll see or maybe we won't see because the update still doesn't have a release date all right so we are now in the hard mode set of pickaxes from vanilla terraria starting with the mithra one which has 150 percent yeah 150 percent pickaxe power so this one should honestly speed through a bunch of this and stop at chlorophyte i believe is where we're gonna stop at and as we can see it's got nice speed through the pre-hard mode stuff but then you get to the hard mode stuff and it slows down a lot yeah there you go it stops right there obviously you need to upgrade obviously i think you need the pickaxe axe to mine chlorophyte because i think it requires 200 percent to mine chlorophyte but uh yeah there you go not not too shabby next up we have an iconic pickaxe here not really the hamdrax i feel like is more iconic but we got the pickaxe axe aka the counterpart to the hamdrax but yeah let's let's go ahead and see how far this gets i'm assuming just chlorophyte but you never know it might be able to mine the uh first calamity or or 
Maybe not the first, but uh, actually, I think all these Calamity Auras, like cry Cryonic, Perennial, I think they're all the same power. Chaotic too, they're all, three of them are the same power required. As we can see, obviously you can't mine it, but uh, you know, I have these ores specifically. I chose all these ores specifically because each of them have a different resistance and you know, power, certain power that you need to mine it. Next up, you know, I tried to keep the uh, drills and the pickaxes separate because obviously the categories are drills and pickaxes, two different things that do the same thing. But you know, the digging claws, there's only one type of digging claws that I know of in this, in vanilla Terraria. You know, this, I guess is just categorized under, categorized under a pickaxe, unless you want me to make a whole video where it's like the best digging claws in Terraria, which honestly, there's a couple of modded digging claws that I know of. But as for now, you know, it'll just be in this category and these babies they move quick as we can see they are tearing through they get to chlorophyte can they go past chlorophyte no they cannot but these things are beautiful i love the digging claws uh, also because it's shroomite who doesn't love shroomite thing shroomite is like underrated as hell next up now this is probably one of my most used pickaxes in vanilla terrarium that is the pick saw is there somebody making noises who's making noises down here bro i'm trying to record a video on this motherfucker get them out of here all right but yeah let's put the pick saw to the test i believe that this is our first pickaxe that will mine the calamity ore we should start tapping into the calamity or ores now and uh we'll see right here yes look at that and of course this thing shoots water everywhere but it does not get past the next calamity ore it did just kind of you know flood my area a little bit it's all good it's all good a little wetness never hurt anybody it's drowned people though and last but not least the four lunar pickaxes that all do the same exact thing but you know i guess some just look stronger than the others you know I, I get it that the solar stuff you know it is some of the strongest stuff in the game uh, in terms of damage melee wise and protections but just because of that doesn't mean that you know that the pickaxes got to be any different from each other but look at this it says at the bottom for these pickaxes can mine eula bloom this is gonna be the first pickaxe that reaches eula bloom let's use the uh, solar flare one you know it's usually the one everyone gets okay you know when well, might as well mine through the middle of everything since i'm up here now yeah this thing is going pretty fast it slows down a little bit here it slows down a lot a bit but you know we should still be able to get through it look we're getting through the exodium and here's the eula bloom oh what's going on here keep on going and it stops right there at the arc tesla but look at that it's done some damage here as we can see the best pickaxe so far but i actually do have one more thing from vanilla to show now the last vanilla thing i'm gonna show off here and this should address the last set of comments that i kept on getting and that is game writers where is the laser drill just think about it for a second you may be questioning like how come he didn't show the laser drill in a video where he shows off the best pickaxes in terraria i just answered your question right there but yeah the laser drill we're just gonna show it off now because it is 100 percent the best mining tool in terraria but let's see it in action you know real quick this thing should mine all the way to eula bloom no problem because this thing not only does it have the range it has the speed it has the power there's so much you could do with it okay the speed honestly doesn't feel that fast but it still has the range which honestly makes it better than most pickaxes because having that range and being able to hit through walls is an amazing thing to be able to do like look at this i can i can mine all the way down here just break some of my beautiful floor that i made yeah there you go for all you people that wanted the drill there's people that also are like hello where's the uh, drill containment unit that's a mount and also still a drill but mainly a mount but yeah let's get on to the modded pickaxes which you guys have been waiting for all right so hopping into the modded tools we're going to be testing two things how far they can mine in the ores and also also, how fast they can mine through a pile of dirt or just a straight line of dirt and uh you know we didn't test it for the vanilla ones because we've seen most of the vanilla ones in the original video but uh we'll we'll, we'll do it for the uh, modded tools yeah let's go ahead let's grab a handful of modded tools here you know this will be our first group right here now this is the weaker group compared to the last four there that i'm not going to show off yet but yeah starting with our first one here the tiny pick from elements awoken how is this even functional i have no idea we are about to see though a tiny pickaxe what do you think it does you know it, it seems like it's going to be very weak but it mines very fast at least it feels fast i don't know placebo effect okay well that's like the furthest we can go but you know the feeling fast and actually being fast two different things same thing with like pickaxe power and pickaxe speed those are two different things if a pickaxe has a lot of power it's going to be quicker to break the actual block but if the pickaxe has a lot of speed you can break the block quicker i don't know what i just said if that made sense at all probably didn't but yeah let's go ahead let's mine down here and see how fast it feels mining down 
does not feel fast whatsoever well it feels fast doesn't look fast at all all right so we should be making a big jump here we got the blight fire pickaxe from elements awoken 240 percent pickaxe power let's see it in action oh this thing feels buttery smooth you know we're cutting through all the ores no problem i wonder oh it's starting to slow down once we got to aura calcum it's starting to slow down can we get chlorophyte i think we can get chlorophyte and honestly we might be able to hit chaotic no problem let's see okay yeah it mines chaotic no problem exodium oh it mines exodium really slow but it still mines it it still counts eula bloom it got through eula bloom this is unexpected don't tell me oh, I, I was about to say i thought it was about to get through arc and i was about to go crazy i was gonna do a backflip let's go ahead and test the blight fire pickaxe here on the dirt you know see how fast it is oh does not feel fast at all honestly this feels very very slow you know i thought we were gonna be zooming through dirt because dirt is very very weak what the hell is this thing get out of here next Next up, we got the basic pickaxe from the Thorium mod for testing purposes. This thing should be pretty fast. I don't know. I don't know. It only has 220% pickaxe power, but it has insanely fast speed. I think this is used more as a melee weapon because it does do 200k damage. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see how far. Oh, it is pretty fast. I see. Oh, but it stops right at Exodium, which is interesting what, how much power 220 so what you need 240 to break through exodium and yellow bloom okay good to know but yeah i expect this thing to be pretty damn quick when it comes to breaking dirt if it was that quick breaking ores but let's see it in action right here oh my god this is the fastest one we've had so far easily the fastest we had so far next up on our list is the tunnel maker 3000 from the builder plus mod it has 215 percent pickaxe power so it probably isn't gonna mine through exodium or a uh, eula bloom but we'll see we will see you know it's called the tunnel maker they spelled tunnel wrong but it's called the tunnel maker so i expect it to you know be pretty damn quick okay there's a lack of animation but it does feel quick and it stops at eula bloom as i expected but i do expect this thing to mine very quickly when it comes the dirt let's see yes sir also feels very fast does not feel as fast as the basic pickaxe but it still feels decently fast you know we made a tunnel it's true to the name at least all right here we are we got the star miner from ancients awaken and the next pickaxe the amphibious tear tool also from ancients awaken so uh let's see it in action it said what 235 percent pickaxe power i think that's strong enough to get past exodium i don't know about eula bloom i think 240 is the magic number for eula bloom but uh, i guess we'll see in a second here it's looking good so far it's slowing down a lot though it's slowing down a lot once we get to the hard mode stuff but uh it's still tearing through exodium no problem eula blue okay so 235 that might be the magic number then or uh maybe even 230 but there you go it got through all of those we still haven't seen any pickaxe get through the arc or or the chest at the end let's test how fast it is on dirt oh very slow on dirt okay so this is up there with like some of our strongest but it's super slow when it comes to mining dirt i don't i don't know why all right on to our last set of non-super overpowered pickaxes i'm noticing that there's like a, a mud kit face on here i don't know if that's a reference to someone it may possibly be you know i do know some uh amphibious slash mud kit people in the terraria community but yeah let's go ahead let's start mining through see how good this is okay i'm feeling the speed i'm feeling the speed right here will it slow down it's not slowing down it really isn't slowing down oh my it made it wait it's breaking the arc oh my god but here you go the chest what about the chest i doubt that any pickaxes are gonna break the chest but we'll see here we'll see here no of course not but yeah that that's the first pickaxe to make it past the arc tesla ore and uh it has 320 percent pickaxe power which is almost like double of some of these other pickaxes or like 100 percent more than some of these other pickaxes and another cool thing is if you right click with this you know you can change it into like a multi-tool and stuff so you can you know cut trees you turn into a hammer it's pretty cool but now on to the other test here does this mine dirt quickly i don't know this honestly is a pretty important test sometimes uh let's see it in action it's okay it's nothing crazy i I don't know why you know some of these are they could break through all the other stuff but they feel, just feel really slow when it comes to mining dirt all right here's the moment that everyone has been waiting for in this redux and that is these four pickaxes right here the crystal crusher the obvious winner of the fastest pickaxe title in the last video and then we have the pickaxe after that the arcadium decimator from the ultra conics mod which is a mod people told me that this is where the fastest pickaxe is from we will see today and also we have the super cheaty pickaxe from the cheaty tools mod and as we can see that pickaxe power is super high super super high insanely fast speed this might be taking the title today but last but not least with the non-updated sprite i thought we gave him the sprite to update this sprite the black hole pickaxe 
from Reb's mod. And uh, if you've seen how this works, you know how it works. But yeah, the Crystal Crusher, you know, another comment. I guess we do have another comment besides the uh, Ultraconics one, or besides people telling me to use the Ultraconics mod for this pickaxe. The Crystal Crusher has a new ability, S somewhat new. It wasn't there when I made the video, but uh, it did come out eventually. And I get a lot of comments They're like, how come he didn't use the right click ability on the Crystal Crusher? It didn't exist. That's why. It's just like the holy hand grenade from Consolaria. It didn't exist when I made the video. But yeah, let's test this baby. I got to go on underground a little bit so I don't just ruin everything. Uh, right, right here should be fine. We are right click to destroy a lot of blocks. You know, I was going to base a whole video on this right click ability. But look at this. It's so strong. It's so powerful. Look at this. Oh my god. What a beautiful noise. But there you go. This is the right click ability on the Crystal Crusher. It's amazing. Obviously, I expect the Crystal Crusher to rip through this no problem. But let's see. Let's see. You never know. Maybe it'll have trouble. Psych. Why would it have trouble? There's no reason for this pickaxe to have trouble. Now, obviously, it can't mine the chest. But do you guys think the right click ability can mine a chest? So we're about to see. We are about to see. Let me get a chest. And then let me get an item to put in the chest. Let's see right here if this right click ability breaks chest or not. It doesn't. Okay, that's kind of upsetting. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see the Crystal Crusher in action here. You no, know, without the right click. And uh, let's see how fast it mines dirt. I'm expecting pretty damn fast. Yeah, this is pretty fast. And you also have the right click ability if you want to go even faster. But there you go. There was the Crystal Crusher. You know, the Crystal Crusher is currently holding the title of the, the best pickaxe in uh, modded Terraria. But let's see if the Ultraconics mod or any of these other pickaxes are going to put that title to the test. But yeah, the Arcadium Decimator. Lots of comments about this being the strongest pickaxe. So, uh, you know, if it isn't, then, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a little, little upsetting, a little upsetting. This thing has 9,000 pickaxe power it has very fast speed, not insanely fast speed, very fast speed. I don't know. As, as a mod creator, when you're making an overpowered pickaxe, where do you stop from putting insanely fast speed and 9,000 pickaxe power? Do you put 9,000 pickaxe power and you're like, there's no way I'm giving this thing insanely fast speed. That would just completely ruin the mod. Where's the area where you're like, yeah, that is too overpowered if I give it insane fast. Why not just give it insanely fast speed? But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's rip through this. We already know it's going to rip through this easily. All right, I had to remove all the other pickaxes and break a bunch of trees and cacti so I don't actually mine them because, you know, when you give a pickaxe axe power in a lot of range, it wants to break all the trees in the area. But yeah, let's see it in action. I'm ready. I'm ready for this to rip through everything. It, it's fast, obviously, but I, I didn't feel like I ripped through things. But let's see on the chest. We already know the answer here. All right, this is where I expect the Arcadium Decimator to decimate. Is right here during the dirt test. Here it goes. It's okay. <laughs> It, it didn't really stick out too much, but you know, it's fast. I, I wouldn't consider it faster than the Crystal Crusher. I don't know. There's just something about the Crystal Crusher that is insane. Does this have a right click ability? This does not have a right click ability. Instead, it says press the Arcadian pickaxe mode button to switch modes. Now, we might have to look into this. Okay, as we can see here, I changed the mode. It shows the worst color possible for that font. Uh, Arcadian pickaxe, mo pickaxe mode, explosive, normal, and fast. So we have the option of explosive, normal, and fast. Let's, uh, let's see fast fast in action i think i gotta run the test back with these enabled all right so we have the fast mode enabled let's see it we should now rip through this no problem it doesn't feel like i'm ripping through it it doesn't feel like it but you know maybe it was a little faster whoa what just happened whoa I, I don't know what just happened half of my floor just exploded what the heck do you see this what the heck whoa whoa what? i'm so confused all right so what i think what happened was because i was using you know the auto mine or whatever you want to call this feature because i was using the smart cursor i think it didn't have its full potential because i don't know the smart cursor was maybe overriding it but if i just mine it you know straight up and just run to the right oh my god that was beautiful that is what i was expecting from this pickaxe that's what i was expecting from the arcadium decimator it, it obviously is it's having troubles here on the chest but you know all of them are wait no all of them have trouble with the chest so this honestly might be better than the crystal crusher then that feature alone being able to have different modes that alone might change it up here all right let's see it in action right here let's see it in action oh my god this pickaxe might be it this might be the new winner but wait there's still one more mode there's explosive let me see what this is like before we go on to the other two pickaxes oh my god that is insane that is insane it just ripped through this giant floating block of dirt now i i got one more question here if i were to put you know the arc 
tesla down put this down you know put all the ores down and then use that explosive thing will it break all of them so it should break all of this no problem i'll stand above it and use the explosive ability let's see oh my god i think i think that may be it unless the other two pickaxes has something to say this pickaxe may be the new winner when it comes to the best pickaxe in Terraria. All right, so here we are with the super cheaty pickaxe. This statistically should be the best pickaxe. It has a lot of pickaxe power as we can see, and it has insanely fast speed. Compared to the Crystal Crusher and Arcadium Decimator, you know, those two only have very fast, and this one has insanely fast. So let's see, this should be the fastest. Here it goes, let's see. This does not feel fast at all. <laughs> This doesn't feel fast, man. It doesn't feel fast. Maybe it's just that test that doesn't feel fast. Walking sideways and mining stuff. But obviously, you can break everything but the chest. And let's let's test it out here. Let's test it out here. See if this is where, you know, maybe it picks up in speed. It's, it doesn't. It doesn't feel it. It doesn't feel like this one is it. This is kind of a little bit upsetting, man. To have that high of pickaxe power. Insanely fast speed. And you're over here. You're over here. Do no. You're over here doing this. What is that weak ass shit? Super cheaty pick, more like super cheaty shit. All right, so here we are with the black hole pickaxe. If you have seen the video where I where I try to break chests, or if you've seen the video where I use the black hole pickaxe to kill bosses, then you might know what's about to happen. This thing may not be the fastest, may not be the strongest, but it absorbs any tiles, walls, fluids, and NPCs dropping nothing. It can break chests with items in them. Does not work with a smart cursor, infinite range. So that means I can't really use it and just walk to the right like that so i had to do it manually so it might feel a little bit slow just because of that but look at this this thing is straight up erasing blocks hey if you got a really quick and precise wrist flick motion you can mine pretty damn quick here but we are just completely erasing everything at speeds of light i really wish you could use smart cursor but i feel like it would definitely be dangerous if you could but we get to the chest and guess what guess what bye bye chest there's nothing here you could even place dirt where the chest was meaning that that chest is fully gone same thing with the blocks underneath the chest you could break the blocks underneath the chest the chest will still work chest still works just like slowly erase the chest and look you can kind of see it open for a little bit but it just goes away what about just the bottom right not nah, you just can't access the chest anymore bye bye chest see you later small bubble see you later you're going to the void but yeah i'm guessing for you know the little dirt test we have here it's not really gonna work because we don't have a smart tool i'd have to like go like this kind of just like shake back and forth like i have parkinson's or something you know do a little, little shaky shake oh it's actually going kind of kind of quick honestly quicker than the uh quicker than the super cheaty one or my bad super shitty one that's the black hole pickaxe you know it may not be the quickest but it does have its uses in certain situations but yeah i think we for sure have a winner here the ultraconics arcadium decimator pick pickaxe with its mode switching that it can do this is definitely the winner takes the new title of the fastest pickaxe in terraria the sprite is a little ugly i might have some of my very trusted and talented spriters work on it so it looks better in the thumbnail we'll see but yeah thank everyone for watching the redux of the fastest pickaxe in terraria maybe i'll do more for drills or something if there's ever like a bunch of stuff that i miss then we could definitely do a redux on it like for example i feel like mounts we can do a redux on because you know mods add in mounts all the time like some of these mounts I don't know, i've never seen before whirlwind sphere what is this the from the juice mod what, avatar this is amazing the juice mod actually just updated so that's a free uh plug for the juice mod go check out the update it's pretty dope but yeah thank you everybody for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe and you know if i did miss some pickaxes like some super powered ones that compared to the arcadium decimator let me know let me know it has to have the same power i didn't mean to do that